And we are picking up part three, where we left off, part two. Uh, we're splitting that recording into two parts because it was just way too much content and way too much time sitting in front of a computer editing in over 98 degree heat in my studio. It can't be done. Uh, here you go. <laughs> let's, let's continue. Next, I'm going to configure shortcuts for controlling the transport bar and navigating the project. This is another area where I really dislike a lot of the default shortcuts. So going into the action list, which if, if you're not sure where that is, actions show action list and the shortcut is question mark. Just navigating the project and things has always been kind of a pain with the default settings, in my opinion. So we're gonna filter for go to start. And so this action here, go to start a project. Well, I'm gonna want W for something else probably. So I'll just delete that. Home is fine. It's on the right side of the keyboard, but what I'm used to hitting is the return key. I've been setting up Reaper that way for a really long time. So now if my edit cursor is here and I press return, it takes me back to the start of the project. That's the way I like it. Up next, go to start of time selection. This is actually unassigned and I always need this action. I'm gonna assign that to the left arrow. I'm gonna search for go to end. Go to end of time selection. We're going to press add and then the right arrow and okay. All right, so if I have a time selection and I wanna to go to the end of it, I press the left or right arrows. Super fast, I use this all the time. If you're not sure what action is assigned to a key, you can press the find shortcut button and then press that key. So for space, it's play stop. That one works well for me. When it comes to stopping like a tape recorder where you want your edit cursor to park uh, where you stop, the default is to use pause. I really don't like play pause. I'm actually gonna remove those because pause is not the same as stop. So we will create a custom action to solve this problem. New action, create custom action. So we're gonna call this action move cursor and stop. Right, so we're looking for move cursor to play and move edit cursor to play cursor, dropping that in there. And then we're going to transport stop. Let's also save all recorded media, just to be sure, and consolidate undo points. You don't have to do that, but I like to do it. Pressing add and I'm pressing N to assign that, which is normally assigned to the nudge set window and I'm going to override that. So if I'm playing the project and I wanna stop at a particular spot, I press N and it parks my edit cursor there and um, I can continue recording or playing back from there. I can go back earlier, but it's always a pain to like listen and hear a glitch. And then when you press space bar, it goes back to the beginning of where you last played from. N is already kind of underneath my hand when I have my, my hand at the space bar. And so it's easy to use. All right, so how about the record shortcut? So transport record, transport record. It defaults to command R. I'm okay with that, but I'm also going to assign control space bar. If you wanna use the space bar in certain other keys, you have to press the special key button first. Control space and transport repeat, which is this, the circular button here beside the play button. And this is on R. I'm definitely going to wanna to use R for something else. So I'm gonna make this one alt or option R and okay. Up next is markers. So the default for markers is M and regions is I think shift R. Yeah, so those are okay. They, they're they easy to remember, but they're also kind of like prime real estate. I wanna use M for mute. I don't wanna use M for markers. What I've been using for the last couple of years is actually R for creating a region and T to create a marker. As I've been doing my video editing and stuff, this has been incredibly helpful. And so for this, remove that and add 
T, okay. Okay, insert region from time selection. I'm gonna remove shift R and add in just R and okay. If you wanted to also rename it or color it, um, if you want that prompt to come up, you, you would use the action insert region from time selection and edit. I don't do that all that often. 90% of the time when I'm adding a mark a region, I don't even name it. Um, I'm just kind of marking a time selection. Usually if I want to rename it, I just right click on it. And if you have a marker, you can double click on it and it will bring up that edit function. Marker navigation is actually something that I like from the default. So that's with the square brackets on the keyboard. So square brackets will go between beginning of the project, end of project, any um, time selections and markers and regions. So I'm at the start of the project. If I press the close square bracket, that's my left time selection, right time selection, the first marker, start of a region, end of a region, and then it loops back around. In the action list for markers go to, there are all these number keys assigned to my to markers. And I'm always gonna have more than 10 markers in a project. And there are faster ways of getting to markers. Honestly, this, this advancing with the square brackets is so fast that I never use those go-to markers. But if I want to go to a very specific thing, it would be using the jump to window. Uh, let's put in, let's edit this marker, make it number 99. If I press Command J, it would be Control J on Windows. I press M99, and now I'm at marker number 99. So that's it for editing the transport and navigation functions. Now let's customize the mixer menus a little bit. We've already looked at the menu editor a little bit with customizing the toolbar. Uh, it's very similar with the menu editor for menus. So there's a couple things in here that I would like to customize. So so let's say I have a, some effects in here and I'll just put something in here kind of at random. I'll just put in two effects here. So I have two effects here. And if I right click, I want to be able to copy and paste the effects, but the effects chain options aren't here. So I can't select these effects from the menu here. And so I'll fix that. So I go to menu editor and I'll go to Effects Extended Mixer Context, and I'm gonna to go to Add and Action. That brings up the action list, and we're searching for SWS Effects Chain. And in this case, I want Copy Effects Chain from Selected Track and Select. And then I'm going to look for Paste Effects Chain to Selected Tracks and this time select and close. And I'm just gonna drag these up here with the other effects actions. Save. So with this track selected, I can right click, copy effects chain from selected track, go to the second track, right click, paste effects chain to selected tracks, and that pasted it in. Not a big deal for a single track, but when you have many tracks and you wanna copy the same settings over to many different tracks, uh, it is a time saver. Now I'm gonna go to the Sends Extended Mixer Context and go to Add Action. And here I'm looking for SWS Send uh, Copy. So Copy Selected Track Sends. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna do Paste. Paste Sends to Selected Tracks. And also, I'll also add in SWS copy selected track receives and paste receives. And I'm gonna do a command click to select those two and select. And routing, copy selected track routing and paste routing to selected tracks and select and close. All right, so that's a lot of different actions there. And to clean this up a little bit, I'll just hit rename and grab that window here and just rename that to remove the SWS stuff.
and save. And here's how that looks. So if I click in, if I right click with a track selected into the send section, I've got copy selected track sends, paste sends, copy select uh, selected track receives, and the copy selected track routings. Yeah, I'm going to turn off showing the default menus as submenus. I kind of wish you could choose that for each context, but, but yeah. Because I want to pack this video with as much value as possible, there's going to be one more section of this video for tweaking some of the shortcuts for tracks. The behavior that I would like to have here is when I have a track selected and I press Shift S, I want that to solo the track. And if I press Shift M, I want it to mute that track. If I go to mute track, toggle mute for selected tracks. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to add and I want Shift M and I'm gonna override using the edit marker. Okay, so if I click here, Shift M, click here, Shift M. If I have two tracks selected, Shift M, does them both. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for solo. So toggle solo for selected tracks and I'm going to add this to Shift S and this is the action split items at time selection. That is an important action. And when we do a video on editing actions, I will replace that. Uh, but for now, just for navigation purposes, I think that Shift S. Um, let's actually do record arm here as well. Toggle record arm track. There we go. Toggle record arm for selected track. I'm going to do Shift R for that. All right, so if I want to record on this track, Shift R. If I want to mute this track, Shift M. If I want to solo this track, Shift S. Reaper has actions to show the track volume with a V and track panning with P. And that's cool, but um, the V key is so incredibly important to me. Like that's my paste key when I'm editing. So I don't want to use V for that. So I'm going to look for that action, toggle track volume envelope visible. I'm going to remove V and add in shift V for panning, which is this one, track, a toggle track pan envelope visible. I'm going to delete, add shift P. It's one I rarely use, but it is helpful to have. You can kind of see a theme here. Actions that affect tracks will be with the shift modifier uh, in a lot of cases. And that is where we're going to leave this one. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.